afternoon, VTrans sat down with Colchester residents to discuss the long-awaited construction project off I-89 in Colchester, right down the road from our studios here. Uh, one of two public meetings to explain the diverging diamond interchange plan. Local 22's Courtney Kramer is in the studio with more. Courtney, I sighed because I think a lot of people who have to drive, yeah, go to Costco, Costco are worried about yeah. this. Yeah, Glenn Lauren, the purpose of today's meeting was really to get the word out about the project. This is the first DDI in New England, so there were a lot of questions from area businesses and the community. Exit 16 is going to be dug up for a long period of time. Beginning in the spring of 2020, the Vermont Agency of Transportation will kick off two years of construction to improve traffic and safety around I-89 in Colchester. Project manager Michael LaCroix spoke with the community Tuesday afternoon to explain its plans for a diverging diamond interchange, where traffic will cross to the left side of the road, eliminating difficult left-hand turns into oncoming traffic. It allows us to improve the interchange without having to do uh, a massive widening. Um, and it also saves the existing interstate bridges as well. LaCroix said other states with the same design have seen a 50% reduction in congestion and crashes. The plan will also add turn lanes to Mountain View Drive, Hercules Drive, and the Ratty Road intersections. Coming out of Costco, right. it's like that lane is just backed right, right. up. Yeah. VTRAN says most of the construction will occur at night, with the goal to alleviate some delays and improve things for area businesses. Many people who drive along U.S. routes 2 and 7 daily attended the meeting to see firsthand what the new route will entail. My son goes to Freedom Rains across from Costco, so I can't avoid this at all. So trying to figure out what my morning was going to look like going forward, you know, two years, three years, one lane down. So there was some great information that they provided here. And despite the impact to drivers over the next few years, many are remaining optimistic of the end result. So if this turns out to have the benefit that 2A and 7 did, we're way ahead of the game. Another meeting will get underway at the Colchester town offices in just a few minutes to discuss the $10 million project. It starts at 6.30. Live tonight in the studio, Courtney Kramer, Local 22 News.